okay let's look at question number 17 part a of the applied paper so this is the probability question so we have a box c that contains two black balls and one white ball so two black two white box d contains two black and one white these balls are identical in all aspects except for their colors. Right. First, one ball is transferred at random from C into D, right? From box C to D. After that, a ball is transferred at random from box D into box C. Now a ball is drawn at random from box D. Find the probability that the ball drawn from box D is white, right? So this you can easily do using a tree diagram. So first what happens, you have to pick from C, right? From C to D, you are going to do a transfer. So this is going from C to D. So either it can be a black ball or white ball. So in here, each, each you have two of each, no? so then Transferring a black ball probability is half. Transferring a white ball probability is also half. Right. So this is the first transference. Then we do. Uh, then a ball is transferred from box D back into box C. So now we have how many cases? Four cases, right? We have so when the trans first transfer was black you get two cases right so now first transfer was black so then how many balls are here four balls are in the box D right how many black three black and one white if the transfer was a white ball you have two black and two white in box d okay so now we have to do a transfer back into box c so so now if it is a black white so black white so these two cases come from this one when you have three black balls and one white ball inside the uh, box d so these are the transference probabilities of D to C now, D to C. So what are those probabilities? Black one would be 3 over 4, white one would be 1 over 4. And this case, 2 black, 2 white. So half, half, probabilities are half, half. Right. Now. What do we need? After that, a ball is drawn from random from box D. Now, in each case, you have two possibilities. Now, we are looking at only box D. Whatever is left from box D, you are going to take something out. So now in this case, when I transferred a black ball back into box C, what is left in the box D? Two black and one white, right? So then what are these probabilities? Getting a black is 2 over 3, getting a white is 1 over Three, right. If I transfer the white ball back into C, what is left? One white was transferred back to C, then only three black balls are left, right? So then, in this situation, the box contains three black, zero white. So then, probability of taking a zero white is zero, black is one, right? Then 
we'll come back to this now this is the case where you have two black two white now i transferred one black into box c then one black and two white are left in box d one black and two white are left so then what are the probabilities of picking black or white one over three for black two over three for white and in this final case what is, what is left in box d we transferred a white back into box c so two black and two white are left two black and one white are left so then the probabilities are two over three and one over three these right so now we have everything right so now you can find the answers what is the first one the ball drawn from box d is white so all the white cases at the end this one this one this one and this one at those four probabilities so black black white can happen black white white won't happen because this zero probability that zero no? so just write down those cases and uh, we will we'll have the final probability so let me write that probability of getting a white at the end from box d is what black 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 white plus black white white black white white then uh, white black white white black white finally white 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 right so for those four cases add the probabilities using the tree diagram multiply the probabilities along the branches to get each probability so this first case would be half into three fourths into one third half into three fourths into one third plus second case black white white half into one fourth into zero so that will become zero half into i will just write it then the third case is half into half into two thirds half into half into two thirds and the final case the three white case half into half into one third half into half into one third so then simplify one over eight plus zero one over six plus one over twelve so that turns into what twenty four common denominator twenty four three four seven two nine twenty four over nine or no, three over eight so this is the probability of picking a white right then what are they asking second part is what the ball transferred first from box c into box d is black given that the ball drawn from box d is white okay so this is conditional probability so what's the conditional probability we need to find given white so the last ball we got from box d is white given white the first transference from c to d is black c to d is black c to d is black right so this is what probability of white probability of c to d black intersection with white so probability of white we already found 3 over 8 what is this one c to d black and final one white so that is which case let's go through the cases final has to be white so it has to be from these four and c to d transference is to be black so that is this case case only this case black 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 white that case that that is the only case that has this intersection so p black black white so let's simplify what is that going to be 
half into three fourths into one third. Half into three fourths into one third. So one over eight over three over eight. So one third is the required probability for the second part, the conditional probability. Right. So that is the probability question. Next, we'll do the statistics question.